Once again, Woodshed Wednesday, we made it. Last week's video was great. I appreciate all of the feedback. Thanks to John over at the Stevie Ray Vaughan gear page on uh, Facebook for sharing the video and helping circulate it a ton. I wanted to mention before we get into this video, um, we are still shooting for our 5,000 subscribers for January 1st, 2020. And I just wanna note that if you guys can help me out and share this, share this page. You know, I like helping and, and I like uh, having everybody be part of something. And if I can help out or shed some light on a guitar repair or a guitar lick or anything I can do to help out you guys, you know, I enjoy that. So all I'm asking is to help spread the word, help spread the word for our goal. And uh, maybe we can reach more people and, and get there. You know what I mean? I appreciate everybody for helping. Uh, you know, everybody who's helped in the past and up till now, I really appreciate everything. I'm gonna be doing some giveaways. Uh, some of uh, players that have visited the page and some of my friends are have graciously donated some great stuff. So, I mean, you guys are gonna be the lucky ones. Uh, I'm gonna pick winners at random and you guys are gonna receive something cool from, uh, you know, some of the guys we look up to out there. Yeah, so this week I got my amp back from Tommy Cougar, my uh, Caesar Diaz modified Fender Pro. Uh, I wanted to just have a checkup. Luckily, Tommy didn't really have to change much. He just fixed a couple of loose ends here and there, and uh, you know the amp was ripping and roaring. And I was getting some really cool uh, Albert King kind of stingy tones when you could get that real. <laughs> So that prompted me to say, man, that's like a ain't gonna give up on love, you know, lick. Or ain't gone give up on love, however it's written. You know what I mean? I wanted to uh, basically touch on a couple licks out of that song that Stevie does. Really, really great blend of soul and blues from Stevie here. And uh, Reese Winans coming up with that kind of bridge part there. It's just classic. It's very uh, climactic. And the solo from some of the live videos, Stevie's just burning. Some to really watch out for is the Passaic, New Jersey. Um, <clears throat> and then obviously Daytona stuff is just immense. But I'm gonna show you a couple licks right now and I uh, hope you guys can use them. For the gearheads, here's what I used. This is a 1964 Fender Pro, recently just serviced by my buddy Tommy Cougar over in Sweden. Just gave it a checkup. I needed to go to the doctor and it sure did. Came back quite strong, uh, I'm running a JBL, uh, 15 inch speaker and the 59 strap just plug straight in no pedals this time nothing I just wanted to crank the amp there are the settings um, got the amp on about nine treble seven bass at about five and the speed knob is actually the reverb Tommy relocated it and yeah that's it running a pair of short bottle Sylvania red label 6l6 and uh, I think the pig hog cable and the strap. That's it. All right, so let's check out this lick. Uh, I'm using the 59 strat and I'm tuned to E flat. We're in the key of A. And uh, what I want to teach you is that part that goes. So it's kind of a real ode to Albert King here. We're in the first position of the pentatonic, and like I said, we're in A. You get that foundational blues lick. You do that partial bend, and then you go. So you're hitting the E and the B on the fifth fret. Back to the E. Right hand's doing. That second part goes high E on the fifth fret to the eighth fret on the B string to the fifth fret on the B string. Then you're gonna do this real bending Albert King kind of deal where it's the G string on the si on the seventh fret. And you're gonna do a little quarter bend. If 
you remember last week's video, there's a little bit of that in there, but you kind of, all together you're going. So again, both parts go. There's a million ways you can come in and out of that. You can add your own flavor to it. Like usually you would hear. All right, so going over it one more time, we got that we got that first part that goes, and that's just bending up on the seventh fret of the G string. Then you're gonna grab the high E on the fifth and the B on the fifth back to the high E. And then when once you resolve on this high E here on the fifth fret, you're gonna go on the eighth fret and sting that note. And that second part will go. And that's basically just walking high E to the B string on the eighth fret, to the B string on the fifth fret. Then you're gonna grab the G string at the seventh and kind of do this weird bend, slide, pull down bend. And I'm not picking that. Once I strike it once, I'm just using momentum so it'll go. Now also there's those stops that Stevie does in there, you know what I mean? When he's coming into the one, he'll go after a phrase on the one. Coming into the four. On the five. And it's just bending the G in the alternate positions, maybe over the fifth fret, or bending the G on the seventh. Striking the root here, or striking the high E on the seventh fret. For every cover of Ain't Gonna Give Up On Love, you always want to include your... You know what I mean? And just grab your, your top three strings and send them down. Also, too, I want to mention, when going for those stings, those kind of big Albert King stings, everybody likes to put it on the bridge pickup, but if you kind of can grab the spot, you know what I mean, grab the middle and bridge together, I think it kind of gives you a little more... Uh... to ain't gone give up on love i uh, really appreciate everybody checking out this week's video like i said any help you guys can do sharing and spreading the good word moving forward with the channel shooting for 5,000 subs by january 1st i appreciate it and i promise to pay it forward to you guys yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this wood said wednesday video and we will speak soon have a good one guys i hope you enjoyed this video and check for more videos coming this week Peace. <laughs>